<laughs> well, hello everybody. My name is Michael Pound. And don't be fooled. It is a new location, but it is the same Mike Pod. I have not been abducted by aliens, and I am not a clone of Mike Pod. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You're making it obvious. Welcome back to the forfeit of the Fridays. And today, we are going to be doing something as a forfeit, which I imagine... I'm going to get a lot of comments uh, about. So, we are doing olives. Now, there's going to be many a people in the comments that are going to be like... Oh, but Mark, olives are really nice. I love olives. How can you think olives are disgusting? I bet this is all fake. Shut up, okay? Shut up, because olives... Olives are fucking like the fucking little green nuggets of Satan. They smell like ass, they taste like ass, and just ass, ass, ass. Now, I really wish I could like olives, but I just don't. I just don't. And anytime I've had one, it's just a texture. Something about the texture is just rank to me. So, um... I'm not going to enjoy today. Today, we are going to be using a game called True or False. Basically, it asks you a bunch of questions. Well, after you have to answer whether it's true or false, and if I obviously get it wrong, I have to eat a pissing olive. Okay, dokie. Google sent an email to its employees warning that a python was loose in New York office on April the 1st. This, it was not a joke. Nah, that's false. Wait, wait and it wasn't a joke. No, I reckon it was a joke, so false. No! No! It was true! So they sent an email... On April Fools, April 1st, saying there was a snake. Obviously, everyone thought it was an April Fools, but it was actually true. Oh, tits, first question. I've got to eat an olive. Fuck off. Right, this is going to be, well, firstly, this is going to be some ASMR shit opening this bloody thing. <gasps> oh. The first whiff of this I'm going to get. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> thing is, to some people, they would just eat these, like, I don't know, like, say, I eat grapes. I eat grapes like they're nothing. I don't think about it. But there may be someone somewhere that thinks grape are, like, the absolute small spawn of Satan, so... Oh, fucking hell. Right, okay. Oh, just don't look at it. Just eat it. Oh! It's, it's a texture! <laughs> oh! <coughs> oh, it feels like a... I don't know. How can you like them? It's like a some fuck some like a fucking dead fish in your mouth. I am breaking the water rule. Polar bear's liver has a toxic amount of vitamin A in it, so consuming it will make you sick or kill you. I reckon that is that's a that's a solid argument, and it's very believable that it's true. Oh <laughs> yes! Oh god! Gamers have collected collectively spent over six million years playing world of warcraft longer than the human speed yes i think this is true i i heard this in a video gamers have played world of warcraft longer than the humans have been alive that that is bizarre but it's true it's very much true yes see i knew it i knew it if, i'd have been ashamed of myself as a fellow gamer if i did not know the answer to that one uh olives aaron paul and brian cranston got both got tattoos together when breaking bad ended yes i remember this uh, i think i saw an interview with brian cranston and or, or one, one of the two and they they mentioned it so yes <laughs> yes i'm i'm way doing way better than i than i thought i thought this video was going to be like four minutes long or less simply because every answer i was going to get false beretta is the oldest gun company in the world being established in 1526 i don't have a clue so i'm gonna just wing it and say it's true i'm fucking clever I'm bloody clever. The sum of all the numbers on a roulette wheel is 666. That's folks in it. That's a load of tosh. It's not going to be the bloody number of the devil. Uh, what? What? It's true. <laughs> yay, olives. Yay, olives. Yay, olives. Yay, olives. I love olives. One, two, three. Olive, get in me. Ah, what the fuck, man? They're disgusted. How do you like these people? Alabama had re redefined pie to 3.0 to bring it in line with biblical values. That's a load of tosh, in it? There you go. Thank you very much. Correct. Tea's consumption rate is higher than all other manufactured drinks company, including chocolate, coffee, alcohol, and soft drinks. Really? If it was just maybe coffee and... Pfft, coffee and soft drinks, maybe... But alcohol, <laughs> people love their bloody alcohol. Nah, there's there's too many 
four other things which are extremely popular on a day-to-day -day basis. They can't be more tea drunk than that. Absolutely not. But no, I, I don't believe that. That is insane. It's us bloody Brits getting that percentage all the way up. We bloody love our tea. Well, hello, my name is Jeremy, and I am a stereotypical British person. And I love nothing more than a lovely cup of tea, a lovely little biscuit up inside of it, and a lovely buttered crumpet. The irony would be if by the end of this, I loved olives. Like, I was like, oh my god, olives are sick. But they're not. They're just going to make me sick. Three, two, seven. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What are they fucking been stored in? Is it brine? It tastes like shit. <laughs> okay, next question. In Mexico, artists can pay their taxes using artwork that they create. Sounds like a load of tosh, if I'm gonna be honest. It, nah, that, that's... No, you've gotta pay... F Get in the bin. Two olives, in a row, chin chin, cheers, Danny Ole. Fuck. Instant. It's the instant disgustingness. Oh, shit. <coughs> In ancient Rome, a toga was the equivalent to a suit today. I reckon... I reckon that is plausible. That can be true. Oh, yes! I was going to say, if I got a friggin' hat-trick of uh, olives, three in a row, I'd have been pissed. Albert Einstein was offered the presidency of Israel, but turned it down. Why Israel? Am I being stupid? Is Einstein from Israel? I don't know. I'm I'm a dumb idiot, okay? Hey, fuck you, man! Um I'm gonna say false. Oh fuck off. Just get it, just quick, just go. Really quick, really quick. Forkin, olive. This is actually a grape. It's a really delicious grape. <coughs> oh god, there's a big blob of brine in my mouth now. And now, I would like to introduce you to a segment which I like to call How many olives can Mike fit on his fork? Yes, so as the uh, the world-renowned jingle suggested, this next one, which will be my last one, I'm going to basically ram as many of the bloody olives on this fork as possible because I'm a fucking idiot! Postal service within Andorra is completely free. I could not care less. It could be one of those things though that's so bizarre that it could be true. So true. Yes. 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 And Kakeki. Okay, see. Kakeki's correctly predicted the release date of Half Life 3. I think that could be plausible. I honestly think it could. So I'm going to say true. Fuck off. <laughs> right, I am gonna be a man of my word, and I'm gonna just one on, two on. Oh my god! I dropped them. I fucking dropped them. Right, so they kept falling apart, but I managed to get three that stayed on. So you might think, oh, three, you're being a right pussy, Mike. No, I'm not. They just weren't sticking to the fork. So in a three, two, nine, seven, go. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Fuck. Oh. 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 oh my god, I was genuinely nearly sick then. I'm not even joking. I'm not even... Do you know when you have that gag, when you feel like six coming up? That's what I just had. Anyways, um, I'm going to end that video there. That that end triple was was a really bloody bad idea. Um, I've suddenly got really hot and sweaty. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> give the video a thumbs up uh, if you did enjoy it. Also, I've noticed for some reason, there's I don't know if it's something wrong with my sub box or something, but if you can, it would be appreciated if you turn my notifications on. So, it definitely told you when I uploaded. I, I think there's something wrong with how my videos show up when I upload them. So hopefully, just whack that little notification bell on um, I don't normally ask much, so hopefully that's not too much to ask. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you've got any more suggestions for forfeits, or you just want to tell me in the comments that make Mike, uh, you're an idiot, olives are bloody delicious, then please do go ahead. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.